Hello good people, welcome again to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be discussing on what to do if your spouse does not want to migrate with you to the United States after winning a DV lottery. For the new friends here, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. For the old friends, we always appreciate you for the good work you are doing. So let's move straight to what are you supposed to do if after winning your DV lottery and your spouse does not want to move with you to the United States of America. So there are two case scenarios here because after winning, you as a person who is the principal applicant you are supposed to fill the DS-260 form and you also create the DS-260 forms for your spouse and your kids if you have any. For in this case, you first of all need to fill your form DS-260, list all your dependents, what you call as derivatives, your spouse, your kids, after that, create DS-260 form for each and every person you want to move with to the United States and make sure that the people you are creating their forms are the one which were in the original entry during the application, DV application process. But if your spouse does not need or does not want to move with you to the States, what you do is Open your DS-260 form, create DS-260 form for your kids, then after that, when you'll be checking in the boxes, you say your spouse does not want to move or migrate with you to the United States. So you say husband or wife does not want, you check that box. After that, you submit your form. And remember, in this case scenario, when you go for your interviews, you make sure that your spouse gives you or writes you a consent letter that you are moving to the States with the kids and she or he is willing to let you go with them. Scenario number two is where your spouse does not want to move with you and at the same time, she or he does not want you to move with the kids. So here is very simple. Do not worry yourself. You open your DS-260 form, fill it, list all the members who were there in the original entry, your spouse, your kids, but do not create DS-260 form for your spouse and your kids. And in the checking box, you say they are not moving with you to the United States. Therefore, you submit your DS-260 form, commonly known as the Immigrant Visa Form. Then when you go to the interview, all the information that you have submitted, it will be there and they will understand you had so many members during the original entry, but they are not willing to move with you. So the interview will be so simple and definitely you will get the visa and if later on they change their mind after settling in the United States after getting your permanent residence that is what you call us after five years you can file for them to come and join you if they change their mind. So friends that's what happens if spouses are refusing to accompany you or to move with you to the States, do not kill yourself, do not worry. It is possible you can move as a person and leave your spouse alone or behind with kids or you move with the kids and leave your spouse in your home country. So for the new friends here, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, share our videos, and encourage more friends to come on board. Thank you so much and may God bless you all.